Hello and welcome back to Anfield Place. Alright, so War Table. Alright. So, now that Cassandra's out of earshot, are you holding up alright? I mean, you go from being the most wanted criminal in Thetis to joining the armies of the faithful. Most people would have spread that out over more than one day. I have no idea what's happening anymore. That makes two of us. For days now, we've been staring at the breach, watching demons and maker knows what fall out of it. Bad for morale would be an understatement. I still can't believe anyone was in there and lived. If it was that bad, why did you stay? Cassandra said you were free to go. I like to think I'm as selfish and irresponsible as the next guy, but this? Thousands of people died on that mountain. I was almost one of them. And now there's a hole in the sky. Even I can't walk away and just leave that to sort itself out. I'm still not sure I believe that any of this is really happening. If this is all just the Maker winding us up, I hope there's a damn good punchline coming. You might want to consider running at the first opportunity. I've written enough tragedies to recognize where this is going. Heroes are everywhere. I've seen that. But the hole in the sky... That's beyond heroes. We're going to need a miracle. Yeah, you walked beside a hero, so... I guess you would be the one to actually know what a hero is like. Huh. Well, look, you're an interesting person. Ah, uh, at least I can say. Alright. So. Master Harry. I didn't realize any of Leliana's Oxmen mercenaries were still here. Well, if you want new gear, you pay for it. Oh. You're him. Thrin. <laughs> Inquisition Quartermaster. I'm doing what I can to supply this mess. If you find what I need to fill one of my requisitions, I'd appreciate you bringing it in. What do you do here? I make sure the Inquisition troops have food in their bellies and iron in their hands. Both are important. Lots of people expecting us to be heroes, marching all day to fight the demons. Turns out heroes need to dig latrines just like everyone else. How does someone end up as quartermaster for the Inquisition? I served for Eldon under Ten Logan McTeer, best commanding officer this world has ever seen. After they all turned on him at Denerim, though, there wasn't much use for people who held that opinion. Queen Honora offered my services to the Inquisition. It was a kindness. She knew I supported her father and got me away from the political garbage. Oh. With that attitude, I can't imagine how you made enemies in Denerim. People just don't want to hear the truth. I was at Ostagar, and I know what really happened. King Kalen overextended his position, and the Grey Wardens were too late lighting the signal. Following the original plan would have gotten everyone killed. Turn Loghain made the right decision. I apologize. Sister Liliana told me I shouldn't talk about this. Let's forget it. That is actually a pretty good opinion. And one nobody has voiced. Ha. <laughs> what did you mean when you mentioned requisitions? I'm making this Inquisition run with what we have. But we're not a real army. We're stretched thin on materials. So I've put up a requisition list for anything that could help our people. Here, take a look. But yeah. You find some iron. Kalen was kind of overzealous. Maybe Harriet can get our troops better weapons. If I have material for a special order, do I bring it to you? Just take it over there. One of my boys will take the materials or jot down what you found. Farewell. Make a go with you. All right. Your 
kind killed the most holy. Lies. Your kind let her die. Shut your mouth, mate! Enough! Knight Captain! That is not my title. We are not Templars any longer. We are all part of the Inquisition. And what does that mean, exactly? Back already, Chancellor. Haven't you done enough? I'm curious, Commander, as to how your Inquisition and its Herald will restore order as you've promised. Of course you are. Back to your duties, all of you. It is, Colin! I was right! Mages and Templars were already at war. Now they're blaming each other for the Divine's death. Which is why we require a proper authority to guide them back to order. In other words, you. you. Random clerics who weren't important enough to be at the Conclave. The Rebel Inquisition and its so-called Herald of Andraste? I think not. If the proper authority hadn't completely failed, the Conclave wouldn't have been needed. So you suggest I blame the Chantry? and exalt a murderer? What of justice? That won't help restore order in the here and now. <laughs> order will never be restored so long as this rebellion is allowed to fester. Remind me, why are you allowing the Chancellor to stay? Clearly, your Templar knows where to draw the line. He's toothless. There's no point turning him into a martyr simply because he runs at the mouth. The Chancellor's a good indicator of what to expect in Val Royo, however. How widespread is the violence between mages and Templars? Impossible to say. Your organization flouting the Chantry's authority will not help matters. With the Conclave destroyed, I imagine the war between mages and Templars is renewed with interest. The Mages and Templars are fighting, even though we don't know what really happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. Exactly why all this should be left to a new divine. If you are innocent, the Chantry will establish it as so. Or we'll be happy to use someone as a scapegoat. You think nobody cares about the truth? We all grieve Justinia's loss. But you won't grieve if the Herald of Andraste is conveniently swept under a carpet. I'll make sure they see reason in Valroyo. I pray you're right. Oh god, poor Colin. Well, at least it's not me taking care of those, uh, politics. Mother Giselle! Oh please, let someone tell me something reasonable. How fair is your quest to seal the breach? Doing everything within my power. A task such as closing the bridge is a heavy burden. I hope you do not carry it alone. We remember Andraste, but Andraste did not carry the chant of light alone. She had generals, advisors, even her husband for a time. Do everything within your power, but remember those who would help you. I appreciate your insight, Mother Giselle. Take it for whatever it is worth. You walk a difficult path, and there is little enough I can do to aid you. In any case, I pray this Inquisition proves less brutal than its predecessor. Do you know who the Grand Clerics will choose as the next Divine? It is a difficult decision. All the obvious candidates perished with Divine Justinia at the Conclave. The Grand Clerics are terrified of the Inquisition. They will not decide soon, and I fear they will not decide wisely. Whoever is chosen needs the Inquisition's support. No one else seems likely to seal the breach. Can you tell me about the original Inquisition? The original Inquisition was formed after the First Blight, well before the Chantry as we know it. The Inquisitors were hunters, zealots, who tracked and killed cultists and dangerous mages. As Andraste rose to power, the Inquisition came into her service. Instead of hunting those who would do harm, the Inquisitors spread the chant of light by force. 
So that's like the right, the real Inquisition. No wonder everyone is so nervous around us. Who chose that name? Divine Justinia herself. I understand that this was not a popular decision. In any case, once the chant of light had spread far and wide, there was less need for zealots. The Inquisitors became the seekers of truth, and eventually the Templars. And now the Inquisition has been called again to restore order. By force. Do you know what impresses me most about the original Inquisition? They fought horrific battles, killed and died for their cause, and when it was time, they put their swords away. Perhaps the name was divine, Justinia's message. That when the Inquisition is needed, it will strike without mercy. But when its work is done, it will put its sword away. How are the people doing after what happened at the Conclave? They are scared, of course. Many have lost homes or loved ones. I doubt many will sleep well until you have sealed the breach. I have offered what help I can. The rest is for the Inquisition. What more do you wish to know? Farewell. Make her go with you. This is the war table, right? What have your ears heard, Leliana? Anything new we don't already know about? No, nothing. Let's see which one should we get. Thank you. Uh, let's see. I need a fairer. Actually, let's call it a loan since I'll pay it back. Got a letter from my editor in Cornwall today. She tells me that Hard in High Top 3 the V punching appeared in print from an Antivan print a couple weeks ago. I'll give you a moment to compilate that, the horror that is that title. I had my contacts in the Merchants Guild look for the order for older colliers back. The best I could find out after spending a couple hundred gold was that Pearl Burdenforth was a pen name. I've co I could have told them f that for free. You got contacts with the achievement print houses. Maybe you can find out more than the guild. Let's see what we have. All right. Uh, Harold, your Inquisition says it's sort of order against chaos, reason in darkness. If you stand by this, come forth and drive the heretics from my lands. They claim to be refugees, but I have seen elves and pastors among them. Filthy savages tearing our roots, a monarch refuses to send forth armies, and my own knights were decimated the conclave. 
Acquire your aid to return peace to my lands. Prove your loyalty and receive richly rewarded for faith. Yeah, no. The Terran of High Ever wishes to convey our deepest sympathies for the death of Divine Justinian V. The Most Holy was incredible in wisdom and dedication to peace, and we've had high hopes to that her conflict would succeed. We will hold with us in Ryan rumors of Justinia and call you invite the Inquisition to attend. You go do that, Colin. Right, back. Right. I should do something. What's this over here? I will keep the peace while you and the others appeal to the Chantry in Valroyo. Better ready yourself for the blame you will be rightly assigned. <laughs> Do you think the mages will be able to seal the breach? I heard some speak of using the Templars instead. Oh. Wait, so... Suppose that would work as well. Wait a minute. The light shall lead her safely through the paths of this world and into the next. For she who trusts in the maker fires her water. As the moth sees light and goes towards flame, she should see f uh, fire and go towards light. The veil holds no uncertainty for her, and she will know no fear of death for the maker. Shall be her for the maker shall be her beacon and her shield, her foundation and her sword. All right. Hmm. Oh gosh. Any lingering things from from when you were a cult site? Oh what cult site? Searcher Minave wishes to verify that the infection. The Inquisition cannot remain ambassador. If she can't prove it was founded on Justinia's orders. This is an inopportune time, Marquis. More of the faithful flock here each day. But allow me to introduce you to the brave soul who risked his life to slow the magic of the breach. Master Radar. This is the Marquis Durellion, one of Divine Justinia's greatest supporters. And the rightful owner of Haven. House Durellion lent Justinia these lands for pilgrimage. This Inquisition is not a beneficiary of this arrangement. This is the first I've heard of Haven having an owner outside the Chantry. My wife, Lady Machin of Denver, has claimed to Haven by ancient treaty with the monarchs of Ferelden. We were honored to lend this use to Divine Justinia. She is a... She was a woman of supreme merit. I will not let an upstart order remain on her holy ground. Interesting, considering the Inquisition was begun by the left and right hands of the Divine. I've seen no written records from Sister Liliana or Seeker Pentacus that Justinia approved the Inquisition. If he won't take her at her word, I'm afraid Seeker Pentagas must challenge him to a duel. What? It is a matter of honor among the Navarans. Shall I arrange the bout for tonight? No. No. Perhaps my reaction to the Inquisition's presence was somewhat hasty. <sighs> we face a dark time, Your Grace. Divine Justinia would not want her passing to divide us. 
She would, in fact, trust us to forge new alliances to the benefit of all, no matter how strange they might seem. I'll think on it, Lady Montillier. The Inquisition might stay in the meanwhile. Do the Durellions actually have a claim on this place? His Grace's position is not so strong as he presents it. Despite their Ferelden relations, the Durellions are Orlesian. If the Marquis wishes to claim Haven, Empress Selene must negotiate with the Ferelden on his behalf. Her current concerns are a bit larger than minor property disputes. I'm so pleased the Marquis isn't tossing us out into the cold. His Grace is only the first of many dignitaries we must contend with. You expect more people in Haven? Undoubtedly. And each visitor will spread the story of the Inquisition after they depart. An ambassador should ensure the tale is as complimentary as possible. May I ask what brought you to work for the Inquisition? Sister Leliana approached me. We've been acquainted for quite some time. For better or worse, being the Inquisition's diplomat has become as interesting as she promised. What sort of dealings have you had with nobility? For some years, I was the royally appointed court ambassador from Antiva to Orle. The nobility of Thedas is a rather singular sphere. Those I'm not acquainted with, I know through reputation. The Inquisition is lucky to have you as an advocate, Lady Montillier. Thank you. Let us hope so. Thedas's politics have become agitated as of late. I hope to guide us down smoother paths. But please excuse me. I've much work to do before the day is done. Thank you. All right. That was actually she's actually really cool. Josephine, I see. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching this episode of Far for Place. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you join us next time for more shenanigans. Until then, bye.